So I know that was a mentally, emotionally exhausting game, but uh, let's start with you, Nigel. A disaster from the very beginning. You were completely lost. Yeah, I think I was doing quite fine out of the opening, but I, I didn't find um, the right plan. I, I thought actually I had a, a perfectly decent position, but I started to play in a very strange way. And I also began to overlook quite elementary tactics so it suddenly you know it just drifted into a an incredibly unpleasant position dead lost and um, actually I'd move 40 I mean my 40th move of course my position was very bad uh, but my 40th move was just a completely losing uh, blunder and uh, I went to the bathroom and I was just thinking whether I should uh, resign or not. And then I just saw I could play Rook B7 and it's just, I mean, it's, it's completely lost, it's ridiculous, it's just a move, you know. And just, I saw Queen D5 was excellent, very strong, and it was just, I just managed to make a couple of moves and then I had uh, a gift from the gods, <laughs> basically, with Rook B4 was a bit of a, a blunder and um, then I was able to escape. So, um, yeah, um, you know, I'm fortunate and uh, uh, not too much damage done today. <laughs> Right, and now Peter, it would seem a first round draw against Nigel is an amazing result, but the way yeah. things went today, disappointment? Of course, yeah. I mean, I missed one move. And for the rest, I play a good game. Um, and if I make pretty much any other move there, I, I just win the game. It's like two pawns extra. There shouldn't be any anything left. So, yeah, that's a bit sad, but. Anyway, good game. So. Right, and Rook B4 is the move that both of you are referring to. What happened at that moment? Was it complete blindness to Queen E1? What, what did you miss? Yeah, blindness to Queen E1. I, would, I just wanted to defend against, I wanted H to defend my H4 pawn. H4. Yeah. So, so I thought, so let's play some, it safe. Yeah, but some, you, know. you know, the thing is, if C5, there's maybe Rook comes, my Rook comes, and then I can start to disturb him a little bit with, with this. So, but... I mean, any normal move is just completely, completely winning. Yeah, it's just utterly hopeless position. Uh, so, you know, I mean, Queen E8 was just my last, you know, I mean, pretty hopeless uh, try. I mean, I'm just hoping for a miracle, and uh, it came. Well, you actually played a brilliant game today, Peter. And uh, after this, after playing Rook B4 and Queen E1, and this, did you have? Did you still have any hopes? Because you did continue playing for a while. I, I had no clue what the position afterwards, like objectively, should be. But I, I could at least try to play for a win. Right. I, you I think it's just a draw. It's probably actually, right. And I think it's a draw without too much difficulty, to be to be honest. But so. You're not worried at all after uh, that. Not well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no. I th I think it objectively it's completely drawn. I mean, because my my queen was very active, and the, and actually his only way to continue was to play g3, and this exposes the king, and the moment the king is exposed then I think uh, there is no real chance of, uh, of winning. And then I had this queen, my queen, dominating his queen. Uh, so I, I think it's, it's actually, at that point, it's, um, it's rather easy. And I've got m more than one way of holding the, the game. Yeah. Right, and now, uh, Peter, at what point did you feel that Nigel was going completely wrong or made a few moves that were completely disastrous that you had a real chance to win this game. When did that happen that you realized that this could be a big win for you? Well, at some point I, I, I played my rook to a4 and then I moved my bishop and my queen out of the way just to get my rook to a1 and attack his a7 pawn and then he played some moves and could no longer defend it so basically I was winning a pawn there and then I thought I probably have good stances. Yeah. Right. And your first reaction to rugby for Nigel? Um, well, just thank you very much. That was that was it. You know, I was um, 
getting ready for uh, um, getting ready for the bar. But um, anyway, we'll go to the bar now. <laughs> <laughs> well, enjoy the evening. I think both of you need a drink. Thank you very much, and good luck for the tournament. Okay.